Hey guys, it's Leia. Today we will learn how to solve integrals using long division. When given an integral in the form of p of x over q of x, where the degree of p of x is greater than or equal to the degree of q of x, then we use long division to solve this integral. Sometimes after we use long division, we have to simplify the integrand even more by using partial fraction decomposition, which we learned about last video. First, let's refresh ourselves on how to do long division with polynomials. Let's see an example. We have x cubed minus 4x minus 10 over x squared minus x minus 6. We will use long division to rewrite this fraction. So we put the numerator inside the division bracket and we put the denominator on the outside. Next, we think about what to multiply the denominator by to get x squared equal to x cubed. So we put down an x and multiply the denominator by x. Now we subtract, leaving us with x squared plus 2x. Then we bring down the negative 10 and get x squared plus 2x minus 10. We next put down a 1 and multiply the denominator by 1 because it is already x squared. We subtract and get 3x plus 4, which is our remainder. So we put the remainder over the denominator and add it on top. This is our rewritten fraction after using long division. If we wanted to rewrite it even more, we could use partial fraction decomposition to break down the remainder into simpler fractions. Now that we have long division fresh in our mind, let's see an example. We have the integral of x cubed minus 2 over x minus 4. We see that the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator. So we will use long division to simplify this integrand. We put the numerator inside the bracket and the denominator outside the bracket. We want to get x of x minus 4 equal to x cubed. So we put down x squared and multiply the denominator by x squared. Next we subtract and get 4x squared. We next put down 4x and multiply the denominator by 4x to get x equal to 4x squared. We subtract and get 16x. But don't forget to bring down the negative 2. So we get 16x minus 2. Next we put down a 16 and multiply the denominator by 16. We subtract and get 62 as our remainder. We put it over the denominator and now we have our simplified integrand. So we substitute that into the integral. Next we use the sum rule to split the integral into four integrals. We solve each integral and then we add them all together and get our answer 1 third x cubed plus 2x squared plus 16x plus 62 ln of x minus 4 plus c. Last example. We have the integral of 6x plus 4 over 2x plus 5. We see that the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator. So we will use long division. We put the numerator inside the division bracket and the denominator outside of it. To make 2x equal to 6x, we put down a 3 and multiply the denominator by 3. We then subtract and get negative 11, which is our remainder. We put the remainder over the denominator and add it to 3. This is our simplified fraction. So we will substitute this into the integral. Next we will use the sum rule to split the integral into two simpler integrals. Next we solve each integral. We then add them together and get our answer. 3x minus 11 halves times ln of 2x plus 5 plus c. Using long division to solve integrals is not too complicated, but it is very easy to make calculation errors, so it is important to double check your work. For more help on this topic, visit www.symbolapp.com and click on the Practice tab.